Hi everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strecce. Rob, we're having so many great conversations, a lot about partnerships and, and really the ecosystem that brings it all together. Yeah, I, I think again, it's when you look at Informatica and what they do, it really is with partners because it's not Informatica doesn't do everything for data. What they do is a lot, bring a lot of data together on other solutions and help to bring that together, especially with cloud and AI being such at the center of that nowadays. They're the enablers of yes, the data, absolutely. exactly. So with that, I would like to introduce our next two guests. We have Alvaro Celis, Vice President, Global ISV Commercial Solutions at Microsoft. Welcome, Alvaro. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Rob. And we have, we, here. <laughs> we have Gopi Sankaran. He is back uh, for his second round, Vice <laughs> President, Strategic Cloud Ecosystems at Informatica. Thank you so much, Gopi. Hey, thank you for having me again. Yes, yeah. it's <laughs> been great. Uh, Alvaro, I want to start with you. Why don't you lay the ground for our viewers and explain a little bit about this partnership with between Microsoft and Informatica. Well, thank you. Again, thank you for the invitation. Thank you, Gopi, for being here. Look, it's a, it's a very long-standing partnership. I, I cannot even remember when we started. It's been vintage, and it's been extremely successful. Uh, and you measure that in customer value creation, just to be very clear, right? The way we think about it is, how do we co-innovate and create value for customers? Then, how do we go to market together to help realize that? And how that results in customer value, success, that will drive more innovation and you create that positive spiral that keeps us moving forward. Yeah, and, and I think again, it's there, like I was saying in the open, there's a lot of different products that Informatica actually works with. I, I mean, again, and a lot of that's enabled by Azure and you know, under the hood, and yeah. we had Scott Guthrie on, on the keynote. Now, I've known Scott for yeah. over a decade now myself, and I, I think when you start to look at how this all comes together, you have things like Fabric, you have other products that are there, yeah. you have the op open AI relationship. Tell us a little bit about how the, the relationship has kind of progressed. Okay, super. Let me get started and then you, the following, is that okay? Sure, sure, yeah. Okay, right. so look, maybe the, well, let me start with announcements today, right? I mean, that, yeah. that's uh, the Azure native uh, ISV services and the fact that, look, in, the, the coolest thing in the world, right? You're an Azure customer, you can find Informatica right there in your Azure console. Super simple. Right, and you, you find the whole suite, Informatica Data Management Cloud, you can have serverless offering that will allow you to have tons of value. Uh, Gopi will go into that, I don't want to steal his thunder. <laughs> but it, it just reflects how much do we co-innovate in service of the customer and trying to have that seamless experience where you can be in the Azure environment and since that access Informatica value and service, which I think is super awesome. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, you, you, may, you you had everything right, and one of the things you were asking about Scott Guthrie, right? Scott Guthrie has been an executive sponsor for Informatica over the ages, and this is, I think this, is, this year was his third or fourth time he's actually presenting as part of the keynote. There is a big, tight relationship between Amit and Scott, and that actually permeates all across, from the top management to every part of the business. And one of the things, what we see from that is, as you were mentioning around the co-innovation and you were talking about what we are doing with Fabric or Azure OpenAI like that. If I have to synthesize everything, I'll say that yes, Microsoft Fabric, great solution, unified analytics platform. But where Informatica fits in is on bringing the critical data management capabilities for this analytics platform, which is almost like the next gen analytics platform. So how do we engage with them? And that actually showcases the best example of a partnership, which is we have been an ISV design partner of Microsoft Fabric. What does it mean as a design partner? We have been working with the Fabric team for the last, it's almost 26 or 27 months, <laughs> which means more than two and a half years, yeah. both the teams working with each other, understanding like from the design phase, hey, this is what our customers are hearing. This is what where we have abilities, opportunities to innovate and to innovate it, what else we have to do. So all the way starting from the engineering, the core foundation of this relationship has been built. And the other big thing which came out today is on the Azure native ISP service. Informatica available as an Azure native ISP service. What does it mean? There are only a few exclusive group of partners who are part of this. But the coolest thing on this is both the teams actually have a co-development, co-engineering effort. So there is a team at Microsoft who develop for Informatica 
enabling us certain sockets which helps our joint customers to use services like advanced serverless for data integration, for data quality, all these stuff. And what does it do? It helps to bring the customer to have that seamless experience. And to be frank, that seamless experience has always been that core North Star which we use with them. Even with Fabric, uh, as, as you know, one of the major announcements for us is on bringing connectivity and data quality and observability exactly. as a native experience. But when I look at native experience, what it means is we want to reach the customer at the point of need how they use, if there is a data practitioner, if there's a data scientist or an analyst, where they use the fabric, bring that native experience. And uh, Alvaro and his team has been phenomenal in working with us over that almost three years now to make this a reality. Yeah. It's, been, it's been a great so, journey, indeed. So much of the, the success of these partnerships really comes down to culture. And, and as you were saying, Alvaro, there's so many pieces to this. It's, it's yeah. code, co-development, co-innovation, and then a, and then a go to market strategy. Can you talk a little bit about the cultural fit? Because as you said, the, the, the end products is a seamless experience for customers and, and that's of course what, they are, what they're looking for. But to get that, you have to be aligned with each other and your various teams have to be aligned in terms of how you, how you even approach these issues and challenges. Can you talk a little bit about the culture of the two companies and how it fits sure. together? Yeah, look, I mean, in my view, one of the most powerful synergies that we have and driving forces is our shared passion for customers. Well, I mean, we, we can have technology debates day in, day out, and options, the architecture left to right. But at the end, what rules is what is best for the customer. And that has been a, an incredible force that allows us to make pragmatic decisions, say, hey, look, this is the best for the customer, so Microsoft will need to do this, Informatica will need to do that. But at the end, if we believe that's what the customer really needs and we can meet them where they are and then offer them the power of the platform, uh, it, that's, that has been incredible. So that's one. The other is, I think that we have been extremely mature on building on each other's superpowers. We have a strength in the platform, in our offerings, Informatica have their own superpowers and it's not about a platform and then a solution that you build on top. It's about a platform that will empower their solutions, their vision, and the work they're doing, so you have extra synergy. So one plus one equals three or four when you look at the outcome. That, that's the way I will characterize it. I don't know, Gopi. No, absolutely. You, you really said it well. Like, the culture is based on customer delight. We want to delight our customers. And the other part of that, which we're talking about on the innovation side and everything, yeah, we have built on that. And also you will, sign, you will find that most of Informatica has a lot of Microsoft alumni folks who have been yeah. working through all these. They're like, I am one of them actually, <laughs> as part of that. And, uh, and, and that has been very helpful. And the manifestations of that is what we have seen with Fabric. Uh, what we have seen with Azure Native ISV service, and what you are now seeing with what we are doing with the data management for Azure OpenAI related Gen AI applications and everything. Microsoft has become the pioneer for uh, uh, open with Azure OpenAI, and uh, our relationship has been very deep. You saw even some of the demos, what we did earlier at the keynote around how we enable, bring the trusted data for Gen AI applications. All that is possible not just by being a separate, like a siloed company, it is because of the partnership. Yeah, I, I mean, that to me is, is really the key, is because the strengths, to your point about the one plus one equals three or four, is that, hey, you're bringing the governance, you're bringing the metadata management, you're bringing the MDM, you're bringing the IDMC, all of, all of the pieces, all of that natively to Azure so that you can use it across the different services and that it's not just the one piece of Informatica, hey, it's not just the catalog or what have you, it's all of these different pieces. I, I, would, I would assume that also helps because you were talking about it, the trustedness of Azure OpenAI and keeping things private and plugging that in. Informatica knows where the data is, maybe some of it's in the, in the cloud, maybe some of it's not, bringing it all together so that it can be used. Because a lot of times that, that's the challenge, is knowing where the data is and bringing exactly. it all together. Is that what you're seeing from customers in the initial, that's kind of led you to get to this point? Yeah. I will let go because of a few customer examples that we have that are pretty cool. But I will say, look, 
the fact that you could use the Informatica Cloud as the right environment to then empower Azure OpenAI and other, you know, Azure AI services, because there are, there are many, as you know, right? right? And then combine that, or, or, or what you mentioned, Rob, on data, how trusted, how appropriate, multi-source, et cetera, et cetera. And then you come into the environment, and then you combine that with fabric and our AI capabilities. That's what the customer has exponential value out of the opportunity that we have. And there are great examples that we let go up and cover them. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you actually laid it out pretty well, which is, when it comes to, if you're looking at Gen AI applications, the data is the foundation. And then what we work with, Azure AI Studio, Azure Open AI, with the multiple LLMs, what Azure is bringing in is, our goal is to develop the data management for Gen AI. But so we use our app integration, our cataloging solution, the metadata intelligence, our connectivity to vector databases, all these stuff in the context of Azure's model as a service, so that we can support a wide variety of LLMs okay. as brought by Azure. And some of the success stories today we have, and I, I think some of them have, are, are here doing sessions are like Sun Life, uh, where it is a regulated industry based out of Canada, and within regulated industry, how do you take care of PII information? How do you take care of sensitive data? How do you align to data access policies? All those level of details on the data, that is Informatica's area. However, going and developing it, whether it is against an open AI LLM, and how do you go and uh, train that model and use that model to get all that information, that's where Azure fits in. So it is like the best complementary partnership relationship you can find in, in the market anywhere, and uh, it's a great time for customers to avail all these opportunities now. So the predominant theme at this conference is, is about every, everybody, everyone's excited for AI except your data, or everyone's ready for AI ready except for your data. <laughs> but um, let's, let's, let's say a, a year from now, everyone's gotten the data under control, so the, the, the data is now ready for AI. So then what is next? Can you talk a little bit about what you're predicting? And I mean, granted, a year from now, it's, it's a bit wishful thinking there. But what, once the data is, we feel good about the data, what is next? I mean, what's the potential? I mean, I look at it as we are at the earliest of the early phases of Gen AI. Even if you say that, yeah, I have decided that the, every data in the world, world is ready for AI. So what happens after that? Yes, data is ready. Then as part of that, what is the next phase of it? Because at the end of the day, these are all based on customer outcomes. So do you have the right applications? Are you actually having the right use cases? Or are you tracking all these data so that the data is not misused? Is it correctly used? How do you know all these stuff? So, so I look at this as we are in the tailwind. We have the huge tailwind of this Gen AI, but it is at the earliest phase of everything because in enterprise, in production use cases today, how much of the adoption is happening or how much of people are trying, how much of this is adoption, and what sort of newer use cases are we trying to uncover, whether it is in uh, manufacturing industry or whether it is in FinServe, all these stuff. So I look at that as this is just a step one where people need to start thinking of getting the data ready. I mean, we are talking about AI. I would still say that even within the enterprise for analytics, is the data ready? Because there's a huge work which is still going on within the analytics world of building Power BI reports where they are still making the data ready for that. So uh, the opportunities are massive, but if it is grounded on customer outcomes, it makes better sense of how we all can work together and focus on the customer on this. Yeah, because I, I think we've been talking all day that people really want to talk to their data. And, and I think like you said, it's how do you bring that up into things like Power BI or what have you as those become the representations of the data and building data products that include Gen AI as part of that product. Are you seeing that this is really what's driven these native services and what people had been asking for from an Azure side and from an Informatica is come, come to my region, come to this thing, make it simple. So it's the simplicity of being like in Informatica in IDMC normally, but also it's in Azure at the same time. Yeah, when you look at, look, I mean, we are fully committed to make Azure the best place for customers data. Beautiful stuff. Uh, and that is a tall order, but it's a, it's a very big ambition that is inspiring. 
And I will say we are absolutely moving forward in a great way on that. When you look at the world, um, for me, one of the beacons is fabric and the work that we're doing there. Once you get into the fabric environment, there's so many opportunities to generate value for the customer. And then you have the sensibility, the capabilities, structure and structured data, et cetera. So I, look, I, I believe the unlocking the value of data is going to be one of the biggest byproducts of that transition into AI. And then you have the second level or third level of impact that is the AI use case by itself. But it's going to be transformational. And partners like Informatica are going to be critical on that journey for our customers. Well, that was an excellent note to end on. Thank you so much, Alvar and Gopi. A, a Appreciate fantastic it. conversation. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank yes. you for the invitation. Thank you, Gopi. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in tech enterprise coverage and analysis.